All right, guys, so y'all see I'm still at Brothers Motors. Uh, we about done with the Chala Challenger, Dodge Challenger. And what's next, guys? Ah, y'all are not going to believe this. Yes. Y'all see that emblem? That's right, guys. BMW. Uh, transmission issues, guys. Now, let's take a look at some uh, under the hood. The thing about this is, um, look at the key, guys. Yeah, pretty fancy, huh? This is what it's going to suck. thing is, um, they... They uh, had the transmission worked on. That's why it's becoming so risky, guys, to uh, rebuild transmission. Customers are like, I just had it rebuilt. So go figure, guys. Y'all got to make sure if that's really what you want as far as... Uh... <sighs> anyway, transmission problem, guys. We're not going to play these games with a rebuilt transmission, trying to figure out what the last rebuilt guy did wrong. So... In order to counter that, y'all know what the estimate is gonna be. Reman unit, guys. Uh, not reman, it could be a used unit. That's somebody that would give you warranty. Yes, yeah, the thing about it, guys, when we deal with those, it's all about that warranty, how much warranty they give you. Yeah, it's a 530 AI, uh, 530i, but nice car. Do you wanna hang on to it? Sure, why not? Very nice car, so now, this one take a special scan to not a special scan to but a special really nothing man because guys keep in mind engine and transmission will dish out p codes p codes are basically emissions which means all manufacturers have to display that information to the general public okay so with a general scan tool you should be able to read it now let me update you on this this is one of our brother motors customers okay he's not sure what he want to do it's one of those guys with dealer license. They go to auction, buy cars. They think they got a deal until the car is inspected. Guys, you all know if a car is at an auction and it looks nice, there's some hidden, hidden secret detrimental problem with it, guys. Okay, so it can't, it's too good to be true. Like, so he bought it thinking it's some minor and we take it up to Brothers Motors. Yeah, we can fix, especially this. Chrysler Jeep or Dodge, that's our thing, right? So this is our car. We can figure out what's wrong with it. Now it's going to become a matter of, do you want to invest in that uh, to get it fixed? Because keep in mind, you paid money to purchase the car in hopes of turning a profit by selling it, right? It doesn't always work out that way, guys. I'm sure everybody that's done it can contest to that. All right, the Wrangler. What are we doing to the Wrangler? I'm not sure what's going on. The Wrangler got a five-speed nag transmission in it. Uh, I think it's one of those issues where the customer has never, uh, never freaking serviced it, guys. So you can imagine, y'all know the history on the NAG transmission. Yes, that torque converter would come apart, trash would accumulate, accumulate in the pan. From there, uh, the filter would catch all that accumulation and debris that normally comes from a torque converter over time. Yeah, that's right, guys. No matter what kind of vehicle it is. The torque converter is wearing every time the car is running. All right. Now, some may last longer than others, but for the most part, it's a wearable item. That trash gets trapped in the filter. The pump starved because of that restriction at the filter and it started whining. Okay. Yes, this is making a whining noise. Now, we have become, we're not too cool with just merely servicing your car and telling you it's a fix because technically that's not a fix. That's a patch. If your car is whining, making whining noise at the pump and you do a service and you don't hear the whining anymore, you it's technically not a fix because the damage has happened to the pump. Uh, some damage beyond repair. Like it may come back slowly. So we have refrained from calling that a fix. We might say something like, let's do a trans service and see if that helps. Yes, in some cases, in a lot of cases, it will help. But we have gotten out of the habit of calling that a fix because of one lady came back. I thought y'all said y'all fixed it. Lady, we did a $100 transmission service to see if that would help. It helped. You went for another three months. Now you back here fussing about we didn't fix your car. So to avoid confrontation like that, guys, we don't call that a fix. We call that an attempt uh, to help add life to the transmission, you know, because that's all you're doing when you're servicing the transmission anyway. You're helping to prolong the life of the transmission. Okay. Yeah, y'all remember this Hemi with the crazy idle 
we got to get this thing figured out. This is one that's literally beating us up, all right? This is the older model Hemi. Y'all can see the coils and everything on it. Uh, everything resets, guys. The customer already put a PCM on it. That's a new PCM. Uh, I got a pretty good idea. A lot of this, these sensors will knock. Starts till set has been reset. So something is knocking out the computer real quickly, and it comes back to life. I got a pretty good idea, because I've seen this. I've seen it. Look at that. EGI valve. I guess they was assuming that's affecting idle. And yes, a stuck open EGI valve will affect idle, guys. Don't get me wrong. All right. That EGI valve hung open. Remember, it's only supposed to open at a predetermined time. All right. To allow, to allow those exhaust gases to go back into the intake and be burned. Doesn't happen always. So uh, I guess they've replaced it, but we're going to find out. I got a pretty good idea. Uh, AC, uh, yes, car is equipped with a transducer. This, guys, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. I don't even want to get into horror stories. I've seen uh, failing AC transducer calls, problems that they cause. This is a no no in my book. If you want to close all the way, guys, either the battery wrong or the terminal is worn. The good part about it, that's what kill me about people, customers. This is freaking replaceable. <laughs> This is $20 max at the dealer. If it wasn't replaceable, then yeah, you, there's a little justification for doing this. But take that off, go get you another terminal from a dealer and put it on. Not the cheap stuff, get you a good one. Guys, battery connection is crucial, right? Especially to electrical components. All right, so that is what's going on with this. I go through all the other stuff here um, at a later date, but I gotta get going. Uh, let me go see. Uh, let me go grab our generic scan tool because the ones we typically use uh, will not work on this guy. So I'm gonna go grab uh, a different scan tool, and uh, but we can feel what the problem is. So even if you know the code is just for reference sake, right? Yes, it's nice looking BMW. All right, guys, so that's an update on the place. Like I say, well, we're still open for business, so if y'all got anything, just give us a call and holler at us. We're still in the middle of finishing up this challenge. So that's all I have, man. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video.